free price quote from a local dealer obviously, electric cars produce zero emissions from the tailpipe. But many people are concerned about the pollution emitted while manufacturing the battery or generating the electricity needed to power these cars. A new study may put some of these fears to rest, because it claims electric cars still pollute way less in their lifetimes than diesels. Transport Environment, a green lobby group based in Brussels, published the report earlier this week. The study found that even EVs in countries with the highest greenhouse gas intensity of electricity generation pollute less in their lifetimes than diesel cars. Poland is the best example. Although Polish electricity is the most carbon-intensive in the EU, an electric vehicle driving on this energy source still has a lower impact on the climate than a new diesel car, according to the study. In fact, an EV in Poland makes 25% less carbon dioxide on a life-cycle basis, including the manufacturing of the battery and vehicle. On the other end of the spectrum, an EV in Sweden emits 85% less CO2 than a diesel. Lifetime CO2 emissions from electric vehicles are expected to decrease over time as the EU turns more toward renewable electricity. By 2030, the average EV will emit half the emissions of a diesel car, the lobby group contends. The findings of the study contrast with previous statements made by Fiat Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchioni, as Forbes points out. He notes that the spike in electricity production around the world over the last 15 years has increased the use of fossil fuels and tonnage to alarmingly high levels. The carbon emissions linked to electric cars, where generation is coal-based, are, in the best scenario, equivalent to an average gasoline-powered vehicle, Marchioni has said. Along with decreased emissions, EVs in the future will also benefit from cheaper batteries, which should help give them more parity with traditionally powered cars. Source Forbes is part of our ongoing efforts to make MotorTrend.com better, faster, and easier for you to use. We've temporarily removed comments as well as the ability to comment. We're testing and reviewing options to possibly bring comments back. As always, thanks for reading MotorTrend.com.